In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use GTX and the system developer along with some uh, Excel tools to create your own data set, horse racing data set uh, for modeling, whether it be machine learning uh, or any type of regression or other type of uh, analysis that you want to do in third party program. Uh, it's very easy and you can take advantage of the uh, hundreds of individual pre-calculated variables that exist in the GTX system developer rather than needing to start with raw data and go back and calculate all of your own. So we'll demonstrate that just by creating a small data set here. So the first step would be to simply open the system developer. I'm going to start with an empty system. Uh, in this case, uh, I'll exclude first starter horses. And let's say, for example, the first value I want to create is days since last run. So I would simply select that variable, uh, click on the Analyze By button, and then over here, select my date range that I want to run the analysis over, the from date and the to date. And you can also uh, select the different dividends and things like that here. That's not so relevant for this exercise because you're creating a separate data set for further analysis. So once you have the date range set and you're happy, you simply uh, click the run button down the bottom here. Uh, this is just running for uh, the last six weeks. And you'll see the results here come up in the system developer window. Um, up the top here in this top window, we have the list of all the selections and this is the area that we're most interested in. Uh, so what I would do from here is right click on the screen uh, choose the pr print selections, uh, which opens up a text file here that was just on my other screen, but here it is here. Uh, so this is all the, the horses uh, that have raced between the date range that we selected uh, with a few basic details here, but most notably over here, we've got the days since last run. So uh, to work with this file, first thing I do is close it down, uh, open the, the Excel tool that's provided uh, we click on this green button here which says get GTX selection data and once you do that this will run a macro to open that file and uh, format it to help uh, to start to create your data set. So I'll click on this button now. Okay, so you can see here that it's opened, uh, this is still the text file. Uh, it's opened the text file uh, with all of those selections and this last column here under analysis parameter is actually the day since last run. So the first thing I do is use the very first file that gets opened as my master file. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I'll just save that uh, file. I'm saving it again in the GTX print folder, but you can save it anywhere. Uh, I tend to save it uh, as a CSV. And just call it, I'll call it uh, master data for the purpose of this exercise. Yes, uh, I changed the column heading here to uh, days last run. Uh, just do some other sort of basic formatting. We don't need that row here. Uh, we don't need the system ID column. Uh, we don't need the place value. We don't need win profit or drawdown. Um, that's, we probably don't need the time of race, uh, but you can uh, keep that there if you want. Uh, next, let's say I wanted to add a variable for the horse's barrier position. I would go back into the system developer. I don't need to change uh, anything over here. All I would do now is find barrier position, click analyze by, and simply run the same analysis again. This time it will give me a list of all the horses uh, with their barrier position next to them. So you can see that list here. So again, we just repeat the process, right click, print selections, opens up the text file, all the horses to have run in that time period, the barrier positions down the right here. Close that text file down, uh, open up the Excel import sheet, uh, click on get selections. Now what we wanna do this time, we've got the text file that's opened again with barrier positions. And all we wanna do now to add to uh, the master data set you simply co copy all the values in this column here. So shift and down, so it copies them all. Uh, then go to the master data column and simply paste the values uh, in the column next to them. And we can name that column barrier. So now we've got a data set with the date, the track, the race and tab number, the horse name, uh, the day since last run and barrier position. So this is how we're starting to build 
a small data set here. Uh, let's do another variable. Uh, the first thing we need to do is close down that text file. Go back into the system developer. And let's say now that I wanted to include a variable under the rating perimeter here, which was the horse's uh, win percent value. So this is the horse's existing uh, win strike rate. So again, we just repeat the process, choose the value, analyze by, uh, run it over the exact same date range. Uh, don't change any of these settings on the right hand side. That way uh, the selections will all line up when we copy and paste the value. So now that, that analysis is finished, we can right click, print selections, close it down, go into the Excel sheet, click the green button, uh, copy all of those values into the master data file, start at the top row, and that now becomes our win percent value. Go back, close the text file, and we've got another value in, into our data set there. Uh, let's say we wanted to also include the market rank. So SP rank one would be favorite, two would be second favorite, and so on. I simply select that value here, analyze by, and then click run. Won't take too long to run. Now we've got all the values here again. Right click up the top, print selections, close the text file, click get selections copy those values, master data, paste, and put the column heading SP rank. So you can see here that just in the space of uh, less than five minutes, we've created, already created a data set uh, that has you know four individual variables here. And you can just keep adding further data uh, to the right hand side. Uh, to create a data set. You can then do uh, calculations on these variables if you need to normalize them or, or alter them in any way. And uh, what you end up with is, is a very large data set with a number of variables uh, that you can then run through further tests and analysis to help with your horse race modeling uh, or other projects that you're working on. Uh, one of the good features of GTX is that you can also include uh, rating parameters which are unique to GTX. So we'll select uh, our weight for age performance rating and rank and run the analysis and this will give us every horse that's run and uh, the pre-race uh, rank that GTX assigned for the horse on that particular rating so number one being the top ranked horse with a better chance of winning uh, second ranked and so on right clicks. okay we get an error there because I haven't closed down uh, the text file so that's a good uh, learning learning there I right click print selections Go into the Excel sheet, get selections, copy and paste, copy those values and put another column, WPR rank. Uh, we'll just save that. So now uh, we've got a master data set that's starting to build, as I said before, a good sample of data across. You can uh, add as much or as little as you like to suit your particular project. Uh, I hope that helps.